everybody? It's your boy Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. Here's a list of my socials if you wish to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection. And don't forget to leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Now today we're taking a look at the shoe. It has some nostalgia behind it. It initially released back when I was in high school in the mid 90s. This young brother straight represented for the M, Memphis, Tennessee. Played college basketball at Memphis University. Went on to be the number one overall draft pick of the Orlando Magic. Correction, he was the number three overall pick of the Golden State Warriors and then traded to the Orlando Magic for Chris Webber on draft night. And I'm talking about none other but the Anthony Penny Hardaway. He had his own line of sneakers with Nike, and his very first one, man, one of his first sneakers was, man, it was banging, and they decided to uh, re-release it for us here in 2022. However, the release has been kind of funny. Grand school size has been sitting at local foot lockers, then the men's size popped up like a month ago at boutiques and uh, DTLR did a release and it was a poop show, you know, and uh, Nike keeps pushing the release back. It's supposed to release in August sometime, but however, I went to my local boutique the other day and I saw this pair of sitting, so I smashed it and we're going to take a look at it today. We're going to start by looking at your box. It comes in a regular orange Nike box. Uh, look at the box tag. We'll go ahead and read that for you guys. It says Air Max Penny Color Black Fall City Royal White. This is a size eight and a half in men, and I believe the retail was like 170, 180. Not sure. Uh, take a look inside of the box. We have a lot stamp right there. You have your sale colorway tissue paper, and that's pretty much. This uh in the box. Let's bring on the sneakers. Yes, guys, we were looking at the Air Max Penny. This is the 2022 version. Uh these originated back in like 94, 95. Back when a young brother, I was about to get out of high school, you know, and go do my thing in the military. But taking a look at the upper of the sneaker is majority black. You got a nice little short grain of door bucket, you know, it's smooth. You got your black lace eyelets. You got some, your threading pattern right here. It goes around. You have that white rubber material right here. And you have a blue swoosh with a clear bubble on top. And look like you got some type of pattern going through that swoosh. Looking at your midsole, it's kind of complex. You got black on your back heel with your uh, clear air bubble, with your raw, your blue uh, inside of your uh, your air unit system and you got your white going on up here looking at your bottom of the sneaker the outsole per se you got a big royal blue nike swoosh on type of that on excuse me on top of that white and you got a little silver hit here and you got a clear bubble with nike air in here as well gonna take a look at the back of the sneaker you got like a little pull tab right here it is a uh, black with a royal blue line. The thin blue line kind of reminds me of something, but I won't state that here in this video. And you do have that infamous one cent logo, which is Penny Hardaway's logo, on top of more of that short grain of uh, Dura Buck. Looking at the medial side of the sneaker, the inside right here, you got that black rubber instead of the white like it was on the lateral side. And you got that little threading little zip line design right here on here you have this little zip line design right here just like you did on the lateral side and more of those black lace eyelets right there and we're going to take a look at the toe box you got a little clear bubble black nike swoosh in there you got your black speed laces these are the only laces that these came with we didn't even get any goodies. I mean, for this shoe, the nostalgia behind it and them bringing it back in 2022, I'm thinking this should have gave us something with the shoe. 
I get the OG box, but at least give me a sticker or something, a coloring book so I could color something. They could have gave us a chance to get a little penny bobble here with Chris Rock talking, but uh, you know, I guess I'm just asking for too much. And looking at the tongue, ooh, it's nice and soft. You got your little, this look like a dark gray or it may be white on top of black, which makes it look gray. And you got the black patch here with your blue Nike swoosh and a pull tab on top with the black. And it is a thin blue line. Give you a look on the inside. See if y'all can see that. It says Nike Air in there. And you have a blue, a royal blue sock liner. Come stuffed like a holiday turkey with chicken gizzards. And let's see, where is the uh, side? Oh, here we go. The back side of the tongue. Looks like uh, some neoprene material or that silky material. I'm gonna try to get you guys a look at that sock liner. I'm sorry, get you a look at that size and tag. US size eight and a half. Production date July 13th of 2021 to January the 19th of this year. So, sound like it's a lot of pairs of these in circulation but they just haven't made it to the stores yet but this is the air max pennant the 2022 version drop a comment if you getting this sneaker if y'all feeling it some of you guys may not even been born yet or wasn't into sneakers at the time but uh i'm definitely getting one of these during the time of recording this video I hit on these on the social status raffle, so I am awaiting my personal side fitting. So that's the end of this video. Let me know what y'all think, and like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker, because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.